thanks for taking time out uh, pooja uh, one of the uh, things uh, uh, friends about pooja is uh, apart from being passionate about gardening and you know being a mother and also taking time uh, for cooking uh, there are some things uh, which i really liked about her uh, uh, she clearly believes that uh, you know you can do everybody can do their bit uh, based on their capacity whatever capacity you have whatever you can spare uh, from your regular income do your bit uh, so if you've seen the uh, poster which we have uh, designed versus now um, you know she has donated her hair for a cause uh, so you know that that's the reason you you uh, see shorter hair and she also donates uh, uh, to a couple of charities including uh, you know uh, for rescuing animals and you know she has a pet which is uh, basically from a rescued uh, uh, you know kennel and uh, she does uh, bits and pieces and that's what she believes in and that's uh, very interesting about you pooja maybe a quick uh, introduction about you before we jump into the actual game for sure thank you so much for uh, having me live here definitely um, pleasure talking to you uh, so for sure like like just to add on um we all we all are here for a purpose and uh, mm -hmm. I, i think it's it's all about finding our own purpose and i'm still exploring i guess eventually we'll get there um so yeah uh, my dad taught me how to garden and i think i kind of connect with him by gardening so i'm passionate about it um but yeah for sure i think you've covered pretty much everything about me by uh, giving the introduction thank you so much for that Hey, thanks, Pooja. And you know, it's a uh, midnight there in Canada. So thank you for taking time at this hour to join us. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah. So, what are the three words that can best describe you? Um, I uh, believe in perfection, um, mm -hmm. passion, and uh, a lot of care. good what what is that one thing you would like to put it into your bucket list to you mean to do list yeah to do list um i guess travel a lot uh, I, i like traveling so uh, definitely want to do that okay what is that uh, you have it in india but cannot find in canada uh the warmth not weather wise for sure um i mean warmth from friends family um you actually can walk into a, a friend's place not having to take appointments um, mm -hmm. um not that i'm complaining about it but um, the warmth that you get in india for sure kind of lacks in the western country and i'm pretty sure the western people uh, from the country will kind of agree with me on that okay good next one uh, so you will have to i will take a uh, few personality names and you know couple of them are your friends so you will have to define them in, in one word so the first one is kritika um very grounded mm -hmm. she is uh, down to earth grounded uh, warm uh, okay. for sure considering she is uh, mrs india 2018 does make a huge difference um those characteristic coming from a celeb is is a big deal okay edlin um a friend um always there to um uh, to support you so very supportive and warm again uh, i know two words but yeah supportive and warm okay your hobby amit um I I I think um one word will be uh, not doing justice uh but uh, absolutely uh um the perfect partner I would say Okay and I I see a Russian friend Anastasia Uh I'm I I I have a couple of friends sorry I I would excuse myself on that I I think I have a couple of friends who were in my um in my school and as as a part of school project we had to increase <laughs> our customers uh, i mean our, our friend base or something like that to uh, increase our connections because i was doing my human resources um mm -hmm. as well as public relations so it kind of uh, post graduate certificate from uh, uh, i was doing it from conestoga as well as seneca uh, so i i think it was a part of my project i must have added a couple of people here and there <laughs> 
not all are very closely related i apologize anastasia uh, i i don't really remember you but i'm i'm sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> no problem punam um punam a uh, school friend uh, just going by that memory uh, she was uh, again very supportive and warm uh, person mm-hmm. I, i don't know how she is now uh, it, it's been ages that we haven't really uh connected but uh, as far as memory goes she was one of the very nice friends i had your childhood crush puja uh it is uh you might find it weird but mm-hmm. it was not a crush but um more like idealized uh padmavati mm-hmm. teacher uh she was our maths teacher um mm-hmm. she looked a lot like my aunt so somehow i somewhere idolized her i wanted to be like her um crush actually was a, from a girl school so <laughs> was kind of uh, and like you're looking at me i'm not one of those very happening looking people so uh, didn't have too many men hovering around <laughs> i guess so uh, no i i really didn't have any childhood crushes um so now you have education system where you have an option whether to attend the subject the class or not so what is that subject you would would have ditched during your childhood days given an option um i wouldn't ditch any of my classroom basically for uh, for for anything because um it, it might come as a surprise but i actually loved all of my teachers and um um i i really adore them mm-hmm. maybe i i i i must have spoke uh, ill about them as growing up but each of them has uh, instated uh, some amount of um, ethic uh, personality like they say kids are like clay you mold them bit by bit i i think everything that i am it's from uh from my i'm very proud to say that i'm indian and my education system was an indian education system and i'm proud of every every bit that my teachers have uh, instated in me so for sure yeah i wouldn't ditch any class uh, though i was not one of the um uh, high ranking students uh, um i guess i was just still liked by most of my teachers what is the best feature of pooja which friends uh, look upon you um i guess they think i'm confident which i think i fake pretty well <laughs> <laughs> good one <laughs> what's your favorite halloween dress um uh, i i i think if you've gone through my profile you'll kind of find one of the pictures where i've dressed up like a fairy mm. i i always wanted to do that and the first halloween that i i i got to um celebrate i would say in in canada i actually bought myself uh, a wing from a dollar store because i was a student i had very little budget so i bought a crown and a wing and i had a dress for my uh, classes which i used and i dressed up like a fairy so yeah fairy okay what's a, your favorite weapon a weapon of your weapon? choice mm-hmm. uh words good so best place in india my home and where is that <laughs> um it's in mahindra hills um it's um, i okay. don't want to really give out the address i don't know if too many people are watching this <laughs> my very old parents live there so not very old parents but my my parents live there so uh, i i don't want to disclose the full address but it's in mahindra hills um, shantiniketan um uh, it it's not the size but it's just it's just home it's just just home commonly used abusive word in canada um am i supposed to say it <laughs> <laughs> you can use <laughs> yeah I, i i would i would actually use uh, f star star k okay <laughs> all adults know what it means okay if you're really hungry pooja and you're like you're left out in a desert or a forest could you eat a bug um no i would probably prefer starving yeah. <laughs> sorry good good work on the rapid fire questions uh, thanks for that so let's uh, move on to the main subject so if you become the one minute cm um, or the president of uh, you know canada or the prime minister of canada what what are the areas you would focus on so um one thing that uh, one minute 
uh, is barely anything. People have uh, spent five years and I'm barely able to do anything. But one thing that I would uh, definitely believe in, uh, if you've noticed in the corporate environment, there's a word called empowerment. And it's a very big deal where we say empower women, empower your employees. Um, mm. I think as a, as a chief minister, one thing I would definitely say is I empower you to help and grow as a community um, rather than um, looking at a chief minister to do something. Because frankly speaking, when, the, when you're looking at one minute chief minister or a five-year term chief minister, a minister is meant to do big work, like where, um, uh, you know, Narendra Modi went ahead and, uh, uh, you know, changed the uh, the whole constitutional law about Kashmir, which was like a big deal. Yeah, sure. You and me as normal citizens wouldn't be able to do that. So uh, personally, this is what I feel, right? Don't don't call out on Narendra Modi just because your uh, flush tank is not working. So I, 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 I think, um, you know, helping uh, older citizens around you um being able to just communicate with your neighbor and say hey how are you doing sometimes just that word of concern makes a lot of difference um i think uh, what um uh what technology is doing is kind of taking us away from the whole concept of community um i think as a chief minister i would say use technology to grow but at mm -hmm. the same time don't let uh, technology create distance between your loved ones. Um, people are making fun of this whole social distancing concept, right? And they are posting so many nasty pictures of people migrating from one spot to the other. Um, a lot of uh, bad media about a uh, lot of our... Uh, a lot of negativity, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, lot, lot of uh, negativity, but... Um, if I was to ask the same media this question, which um, I even did in the case of uh, Nirbhaya, I, I, asked, I posed this question to all of my friends. Um, what could you have done to stop it? Mm. Or how differently would media like uh, choose to um, deal the social distancing thing? I'm, I, I know there is... Uh, for, for bigger causes, there are always collateral damages. And I'm not saying that uh, poor people are should be targeted. Why are people who are in media, who are earning thousands and thousands of rupees uh, monthly, are not able to assist? When you are taking video, why are you not taking five minutes to you know, be able to provide food, water to those people who you're photographing for negative publicity of the ministers? So... Uh, in Nirbhaya case, even after Nirbhaya case, today, each of us, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's so many brothers that we have. How many of us are actually going and telling our brothers, why don't you walk a lonely lady walking on the road? Don't have to talk, don't have to do anything. Follow that lady till she reaches a safe destination. Why none of us are doing those things? Why are ministers being targeted and being told that, oh, one minute, what would you do? nothing typically in one minute in five years you can't do anything you and me as normal people who are different than a one minute cm or a five year cm or whatever time frame if he gets to see the person who's there physically present should take action rather than waiting for somebody right. who right. is not physically present there so. yeah cops are wrong cops did this cops did that the point of cops will not even come if you're able to. I'm pretty sure uh, if a woman is walking with five men around her, I'm pretty sure two people will not try to attack that woman because for a matter of fact, it's mentality that in public we generally tend to do lesser wrong things. So yeah, why, why, we, why as normal people, why can't we protect our own people and why can't any unknown person be our own? Why does it have to be blood related? And why do you need a CM? CM is meant for bigger things. Let's let's keep the CM position and powers for bigger things. For smaller things like fixing our flush tank and making sure that our neighbors have food, I'm pretty sure we can manage that ourselves. So yeah, that's something that I would try to empower my people by telling, please do your bit.
good good point pooja i mean as i initially said uh, pooja clearly believes in you know uh, do your bit it doesn't matter whether it is 20 dollars 500 rupees or 1000 rupees do your bit on a regular basis uh, to sustain the cause of your choice and you know uh, don't wait for miracles to happen or government to support so thank you pooja so any any words uh, you know uh, how's the situation out there any any suggestions or words for your new friends in india and across so um uh, it's um, like i i have uh, uh, rahul one of my um, friends on facebook he he was a friend from work and um, uh, recently um, i got in touch with him as well uh, through chat something that he posted very recently made a huge impact in my head where he said um, there was a situation i think if i'm not wrong 1981 where mm -hmm. um, there was this uh, spanish flu um, mm -hmm. where it came in three phases the first phase was people died and then uh, they tried to hold on and it went on for two or three years um, yeah. and then when people started going out the second phase they they, they were so um, uh, crazy about this whole social distancing thing that I guess they got too close physically, um, leading to further more deaths. So something that I personally would follow myself and for my family, and I would request my friends and near and dear ones to also follow that. Um, please don't go all out. I know the weather is nice in Canada. Uh, I know it's crazy in India right now, 40, 44 degrees. I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. people were still still want to maintain the social distancing considering the weather is pretty bad. But uh, out here in Canada, US, uh, I know that uh, the weather is getting better and we have only four or five months of good weather. But uh, if, if, you, if you live past this crisis, I'm pretty sure you'll have lots more summers to see. Uh, so let's look at it from a longer run. <laughs> so yeah, let's not do uh, like a hundred meter race. Let's do a marathon and um, win the race against uh, COVID nineteen. I guess. Good, good point. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you for taking time out, and especially during the midnight. So yeah, appreciate it. It was a pleasure. And all the best with whatever you do. And uh, you. good regards to your husband and uh, your little one. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you and knowing you, uh, Ravi. Thank you so much for having me on this platform and uh, taking your time out to do this session. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pooja. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. Thank you, friends.